You know, they beat us a lot. Boy, did they ever beat us a lot. With their hands, with canes. They even rigged up a baby chair to give you shocks when you sat in it. A kid-sized electric chair. If you talked your own language, they beat you. If you talked back, they beat you. If you cried because they beat you, well, they beat you. Now, they got really frustrated with us because as much as they tried to keep us from being Indian, we couldn't help it. It was who we were. When they got tired of beating us, you see those trees, land of trees over there? There was an underground tunnel there that had rooms that locked from the outside. They'd leave us in there for days. It wasn't crowded like our usual rooms, but boy, it was lonely. My sister would come down in the middle of the night and sing the songs of our people to help me remember. She sure risked a lot in those nights, because if you got caught, you paid for it, and I owe her for that. My shirt would be wet with my tears some nights, and it was those nights, those worst nights, that my sister knew I needed her. And another thing they did was make us run. You see those cliffs back here? The priest would tell us, you boys have to run. Up, out of the valley, along those cliffs, and all the way back again. It was supposed to be punishment, but we loved it. It was one time we were free from this place. We were high above. We got really good at running too. You know, we'd say, oh, please don't make us run. Because they would have never let us do it if they knew we enjoyed it. <laughs> 